Hello and welcome. I'm Anna the Wolf, a storyteller, and I'm so glad you've joined me today because you and I have been invited to the barnyard. And it's at the request of several of the farm animals that we come and speak to Peacock. And you go in first, you slide open the barn door and you put your head in and you turn back and they're like, whoa, Anna, there's a reason we've been asked to come. In the middle of the barn is a peacock and he's got his tail fully fanned out and he's just shaking it. And above him, he's pinned a disco ball and he's just reflecting light everywhere. He's got his tail feathers shaking and he's turning around and he is just a sight to behold. It is magnificent. He has light casting off of his feathers in every direction and he is amazing. There has never been a peacock quite as full of splendor as this guy. And I step in behind you and I'm like, Oh, look at that guy. He's magnificent. I've never seen so much light being reflected off a feather in my life. And he kind of looks over his shoulder and goes, hey guys, it's me, the peacock. Pretty magnificent, right? And you and I have to agree, that does look good. And then... From over in one of the horse stalls, we hear, psst, psst, come here, come over here, come, come over here. And you duck into the stall. And around the corner, there's a whole group of guinea hens kind of huddled up and they're like, all right, we want to get across the barn, but we don't want to have to go past the peacock. And you're like, well, what's wrong? He doesn't look vicious. And they're like, you have no idea what it's going to require for us to get through his path. And you're like, okay, well, I'll watch. And if anything really terrible happens, either myself or Anna will intervene. Okay, go ahead. And they're like, okay, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't, you have no idea. I'm like, oh, wow. Does he have some like spears under his feathers? Is there some kind of something we should know about? He just looked like a really glamorous bird. I'm like, no, no, it's, it's, it's going to be ugly. And she, you said, okay, it's okay. We've got your back. And so you and I stayed in the horse stall and the first guinea hen kind of tentatively stepped out. And it got halfway across the barn when the peacock turned and said, oh, guinea hen, there you are. Why, it's been ages since we've talked. And guinea hen was like, yeah, I'm just on my way out to go get some bugs and snakes and lizards and whatnot. I'm, I'm pretty hungry. I'm on my way out right now. And guinea hen said, you know, I've been meaning to talk to you, guinea hen. Um, as a peacock, I feel like it's my duty to let you know your voice is far too loud. The way you cry out all the time is much too much. You don't need to speak like that. It's far too much. And I would like to tell you, you're being gauche and you need to stop. And guinea hen said, listen, we've talked about this before. Guinea hens are loud. We have large ranges and that's how we communicate. We have to use our voice. Well, Peacock said, it's disruptive and you're attention seeking and you need to stop. Guinea hen said, okay, I'll take that into consideration. But the next time you address me, I would appreciate it if you could look at me and not next to me. And Peacock said, have it your way. We'll talk again next time. And I certainly hope you'll have taken into consideration all that I've imparted to you. Guinea hen says, that's, that's fine. I've got to be on my way. And off he goes. And just then, the ducks come waddling through. And they march straight through the barn and out the back and are heading for the duck pond. 
when Peacock catches catches wind of them and says, Hey, ducks, ducks, are you heading back to the mud again? The ducks are like, yeah, yeah, we are. We're heading back to the pond and we do have to go through the mud to get to the pond. And so that's how we ducks like to get places right through the middle of the mud to the water. And Peacock says, you know, the thing about being in the mud is it's a choice. And we've talked about this before, but if you want to small size your life, you stay in the mud. And the ducks all kind of look at each other and they're like, yes, we've got to go through the mud. And we've talked about this before, but you know, the thing is you only ever see us when we're in the mud. You don't actually see us when we're in the water. It's like you only ever catch a real view of our shadow. You don't actually see us. I'm not sure why you're looking at our our shadow, but I hope someday you can turn all the way and see us go the rest of the way into the water. Peacock. It's like, well, I hope someday you get there too. But in the meantime, I hope you'll take my, my good advice. And then he sees Chicken and Chicken goes, no, you keep that thought in your beak, Peacock. I'm not having you tell me how to lay eggs again. And Peacock said, I know it's hard for you to accept that my lessons of truth are really more than a chicken can handle. She's like, no, that's not it. I think your truth is that with each one of us, you only see a part of us. You can only really witness our shadow. You can't see the entirety of our, our process. And Peacock says, well, chicken, We've had words about your egg laying before and how indiscriminate it is. Sometimes it's in the hay, sometimes it's in the nest box. And well, and Chicken held up her wings and said, no, Peacock, I just said, we're not gonna talk about my egg laying. Why don't you and I go outside and go for a little walk and just see how the rest of the world is doing? Just you and I on a stroll. Peacock says, you know, this barn is far too small for the likes of me. I think you're right, chicken. Let's go outside. And so off they go, chicken and peacock, through the barn door and back out into the barnyard. And it's magnificent. It's glorious. And there's a breeze blowing and in comes a storm cloud. And suddenly peacock doesn't have a lot of light reflecting off his, his feathers and Peacock can't see Chicken's shadow any longer. All he can see is his own regular self, and he can suddenly see all of Chicken because he's not focused on her shadow. And Chicken looks to Peacock and says, Peacock. Peacock says, yeah, Chicken? Run! And suddenly a deluge of water dumps out of a very dark storm cloud and they're running and laughing and tripping in the mud and rolling and all of the animals are running for it and donkeys kicking up his heels and it's just a crazy storm that broke out of the sky from nowhere and they all run under the eaves of the barn and are laughing and looking at each other covered in mud they're like we made it we all made it to the edge of the barn together and they were laughing. And some of them were a little disgruntled that they were muddy, but they realized they're under the eaves of the barn, peacock and chicken and guinea hen and duck. They were all just birds. In the end, aren't we all just birds? So I thank you so much for watching this tale of the peacock and I really look forward to telling you another tale and joining me on the next show would be great um thanks much bye bye